Yeah, so I am actually a big believer in the correlation between EMF radiation and fertility. Um, I like to look at it in this way that if radiation is used to kill cells in people with cancer, then radiation can't be the best thing to create healthy cells, so healthy egg and sperm cells. Um, fortunately, the research is really not there to support this. However, I think it's another similar situation to cigarettes that it's assumed to be safe and then, until finally proven otherwise. And I figure why wait up for the science, wait for the science to catch up um, when we can do our best to avoid it and in the process create healthy cells to create healthy babies. Um, and it's EMF, electromagnetic uh, radiation is near impossible to avoid in our lives. Um, but the things we can do is keep our mobile phones as far away from our bodies as possible and switch it to airplane mode um, when they do need to be with us. So for the guys, uh, keep your phone out of your pocket and um, women keep it out of your handbag. But or well, if you do need to carry them in these places, then switch it onto airplane mode for that time. Uh, so then turn your Wi-Fi off at night. Um, I know laptops are aptly named to put your laptop on your lap, but actually try not to put it on your lap. Put it on the table as far as away from your reproductive area as possible. Uh, try to fly as little as possible. Uh, that's a good way we can reduce our exposure. And, and then taking also antioxidants can actually reduce the impact uh, of the radiation when we're exposed to it. Um, and then toxins, so yeah, of course, they're a very important factor in our fertility. Uh, our world is full of chemicals. We wash our bodies and hair with them. We lather them all over our bodies. We spray them on ourselves to smell nice. We breathe them into our environment. We, we drink them in our water. Uh, and we even eat them because they've been sprayed on the food and practically everything we touch and use in our daily lives are made from them. So mm -hmm. this is a very, you know, getting rid of toxins in the body is very important part of the fertility program and also my treatment. Um, we need to identify where your chemical exposure is coming from and then support the body to get rid of them. Um, and, and this can certainly take time. And certainly the older the person is um, and longer it's going to take. And, and also if, if we've got heavy metals in our system, they can get locked into our tissues and, and often they don't want to budge. So we have our ways of getting them out, but it can take time. Mm -hmm. um, and also in terms of, uh, in relation to toxins and chemicals uh, is age. So um, I see many couples uh, where the, the partner, the male partner is, is maybe in his 50s and 60s and, and yeah, it's possible for a man to help conceive a child at this age but certainly my experience shows that the sperm health is of, often compromised by then and, you know, I think this is due to a range of factors and um, one of those is the fact that they've been on the planet for 50, 60 years um, and that means they've been exposed to a whole lot more chemicals and toxins than someone in, say, their 30s or 40s. So for these people, we really need to make sure we take the time to stimulate the detoxification pathways and, and help clear them out. Um, yeah, and, and, and that time will take longer than someone who is younger. <laughs>